After disc uh, describing the theory, now we will perform the Frank Hoyt experiments uh, to find the energy gap between uh, the uh, the inertias of electrons. Okay, okay. This is the uh, Frank Hoyt ex uh, experiment instrument. Okay, uh, so we will. I now I will explain it. How we will perform uh, this experiment? Okay. Uh, first of all. Uh, I will switch on the uh, uh, power plug okay after switching on the power plug I will switch on uh, there are these are the button these are the uh, uh, setting for manual experiment for auto experiment firstly we will perform the uh, uh, manual then auto okay these are the uh, scale defining for uh, different I have set it to, to zero these are the uh, the filament voltage I have already explained okay in theory this is the uh, current multiplier okay these are the uh, the voltage one this is voltage two this is the voltage three I have already explained this is the voltage of the filament and first grid this is the voltage between the uh, uh, filament and uh, second grid uh, sorry uh, this is the voltage uh, of retarding potential okay that is the grid and uh, between the grid and uh, uh, the anode and this is the uh, uh, accelerated potential okay uh, that will be uh, uh, between the grid and uh, collector uh, so no grid and uh, uh, sorry filament and between the grid that will be accelerated potential uh, potential okay so this is lagrangian uh, sorry current multiplier now we will perform the experiment uh, firstly i will uh, uh, set different values uh, uh, i think best is uh, set it into the medium okay. firstly switch on okay uh, set it into the uh, first one into medium second is also at uh, 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 I think near about to six uh, seven voltage that is good okay uh, this is second okay if, uh, this is first okay you will may increase I don't know why it is not working but second is uh, between the six to seven okay okay and uh, now I will provide the accelerator from starting zero okay when I will increase the accelerated potential, firstly there will be no. Uh, I have set it into the. Uh, okay, this is multiplier. Okay, okay. I set uh, uh, the scan. Scan is not needed because we are not this filament voltage. Okay, we have set it into maximum. Now I will as uh, I increase the voltage you will observe that current I will slowly increase the voltage it will slowly increase the current as you may easily observe and we will note every value of voltage corresponding the current okay and then it start decrease okay and then it uh, sorry then it will increase as it is increasing then it is stop and that is decrease okay and we will note this potential okay similarly we increase the uh, again potential accelerated potential firstly the increase and then it start to decrease okay as you may noted okay similarly as we will increase the voltage at uh, reaching the critical point the current will stop start to decreasing again okay and we will note all these values similarly we increase uh, and then this will be the last because after that that will become the current become saturated because ionization will be start so after uh, noting all these values as i have explained the graph will be uh, like this curve in the theory okay this is the manual setting so this uh, per, uh, if you perform the experiment by manually we repeat it again okay firstly it uh, set to zero okay. then increase when you increase the current voltage will be increased uh, when we increase the voltage current will be increased firstly it start increase 
after reaching the value it will start decreasing and then it again increase then it decreases okay and similarly as we increase the voltage the current again decreases after reaching the specific value it will start decreasing so similarly this will be the last value okay done now we will perform it uh, uh, now we will perform the frank holtz experiment uh, auto mode in auto mode firstly we have performed the uh, frank holtz experiment in manual mode now we will perform in auto mode okay so for auto mode uh, firstly uh, we will switch on the power uh of uh, and we will use uh, uh, this uh, oscilloscope okay to get the result okay we have switched on then uh, we connect uh, we will use uh, these two channels okay this is uh, channel 1 okay channel 1 at uh, and this is uh, red at uh, x output this is channel 1 okay uh, the red with the red okay and this will be ground okay this is channel 1 and now for uh, channel 2 channel 2 output this way okay and uh, switch on this we will set it in auto mode we will switch on okay why it is no so so switch on and we will use at auto mode okay this is selector scanner and uh, then we switch on this uh, after uh, switching on we will press uh, button uh, auto button this will auto magically see to get the output so we will uh, get uh, this output uh, press uh, channel 2 to set uh, the position and amplitude if we remove the channel so this uh, i think we don't need a channel channel 1 so this will be a channel 2 this will be the uh, this is the channel 2 we may increase the position okay if we will stop it um, we may see that this is a uh, we may see that uh, this curve uh, is increasing like uh, this is first uh, terminal potential this is second this is third and this is and similarly this is repeating so uh, you may get in different this this is the 
so this is the actually uh, as the graph uh, uh, as we are expecting okay and by selecting mode uh, scan there will be no change okay so this will be your required result okay so this uh, uh, we have to consider only one okay we may consider one so this one this zero increase 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 so this is the uh, the curve as uh, the graph as we was expecting okay best of luck allah hafiz